What's going on everybody? Gamer King Tar Heel here and uh, we're going to continue our Metal Gear Solid HD collection on the Vita gameplay. We're going to go ahead and actually play some Metal Gear Solid. If you missed the first episode, you didn't miss too much if you've ever played the game. We just went through the first opening cinematic which was like 12 minutes going through every little thing. So this is actually the first time we actually get to control Solid Snake and you know actually go through an experience you know, actually moving around and on and all this stuff. It's not just, you know, one cinematic after another. So we're actually going to get to go and trank some soldiers. So here, starting out, a little quick synopsis. Uh, if you did miss the first episode, we're on this ship. There's a giant robot with some nuclear capabilities on this ship. Our job is to take pictures of it. It got captured by some Russians here. We almost get caught by this dude. But we're able to trank him, knock him out. And, you know, then our job is to now find out where, and this part, I can't believe he's actually calling me to tell me how to open a door. That's just, <laughs> just nonsense. If, if I'm a, you know, super secret agent who's done so many things that I'm actually getting my own second game, you'd think that I would know how to open doors. So now that, you know, this boat has been taken by the Russians, it's our job to find out where it's going. So our job is to make it to the bridge. So we just tranked that one guy. We almost got caught. Now we're going to go through the crew quarters and make our way up to the top of the bridge. Uh, one little note, this is not a perfect game to play. Uh, I'm actually relatively new to the Metal Gear series, so I'm sure that I miss a lot of items. I don't you know, do like 100% completions. I'm sure there's some rations or some ammo and stuff that I miss around there. Uh, that's not really the point of what I'm doing. I'm just here kind of having fun, and here we're able to trank this guy. Um, I think we hit him there. And uh, we definitely startled him. We could have held in the lockers, though he would have been able to find us. But no, he falls down relatively easy, so no problems there. But yeah, so if I do miss items, you know, I do want people to be able to see these and say, oh, you know, there was an item there. So if there is an item that I do miss, an ammo that I do miss, something that's really important while I'm playing through, by all means, leave comments below. Um, I, I'm a comment whore. I love comments. So just leave them below and let me know. You know, these type of things so they can help other people out who might be playing. Uh, this is one of my actual chuckling parts of the game. Here, they just came and they just took over this ship. Um, you know, guns blazing, a crew full of Marines. And there's a guy sitting there listening to his Walkman or his iPod or whatever gear this is, tapping his foot, completely paying attention. I mean, this is just a few minutes after they've gone and raided a... Um, you know, a raided a military ship, and they've already got guys slacking off. I mean, it just goes to show you can't get good help anywhere these days. So we're able to knock out his buddy with a Trent gun. He is completely oblivious, does not even see the fact that, you know, he's sitting there tapping his foot, jamming away, you know, to whatever song he's listening to, and we're able to go and um, snipe his head, trank him out, knock both those guys out, absolutely no problem. So we're able to snipe them. You know, because the one guy was slacking off. And so far, so good. We'll pick up these rations over here in the corner. I think I missed those the first time uh, that I played through this game. And we're going to continue working our way up to the bridge and try to go ahead and, you know, get to where this place is going, get to where the ship is going so we can tell Otacon everything that they need to know. So we made it up another level, and here we're going to run into a guy who's just kind of staring out the window. And he should be absolutely no problem. We get the nice little cut scene where, you know, it kind of goes out and shows that there's a guy just kind of, you know, staring, looking out the window, seeing what's going on. And he's absolutely no problem. We trank him. I got to start doing better with headshots. He thinks somebody's there. And here it actually starts glitching. I don't know if I can start, if I should start running or anything, but uh, I wasn't able to get away from the wall. Normally I would have ran around the corner and had no problem. But he, again, no problem at all. So far, so good. We haven't been able to, we haven't gotten caught yet. Uh, the first time I played through this, I was caught, you know, every five minutes. I was not used to playing stealth games, especially games that are, you know, a lot of games nowadays, they don't, they're not committed to the stealth. They're like, you can either go in guns blazing or you can go in stealth, you know, one or the other. But very few games actually commit to the stealth. And here, you know, guns blazing, not a good idea. And actually, Otacon calls us here and actually gives us some solid advice uh, about the camera. And we were able to crawl under the camera. And But back to the original point. Especially in this mission, you know, stealth is par paramount. You don't, you don't have the ability to go in guns blazing. You know, that's just, it's one of the things that really makes it special. You know, it's just not, you know, going through and, and killing people. You know, we've done that thousands and thousands of times. The stealth 
and you know sneaking in and being completely undetected. There, I, I missed the. There's a grenade uh, in that locker, I believe. I missed it going through this time around. We're actually going up to the next level. We're up to deck D, the crew quarters, and here we have another cam on the left, and we're gonna run into an explosion, explosives. Excuse me, um, some C4 plastic explosives on our left side uh, left side the first time doing this i ran right through that corner I, I saw the guy turn around and i wanted to you know get him from behind the guy that's monitoring the other hallway i ran right into that boom game over didn't have a save file um created yet had to start the whole thing over and here i, I messed with the autocon we we weren't in the exact spot uh that he needed to warn me i guess that's you know we wouldn't want to make things too easy, as we say, you know, that he actually warns me prior to me stepping right in front of the explosive. So we're able to camp out here. This guy, you know, has no peripheral vision whatsoever. So we're able to go get a nice little headshot on him. One shot, him, no problem. And you're able to shoot the fire extinguisher that's going to expose the red infrared lines. Uh, so what we need to see, and of course, we can climb right under it absolutely no problem and move up to the bridge level so we were actually able to go through completely undetected which i'm very proud of uh usually one time i'll get caught somewhere in there just because i i like to fool around a lot and you know i'll play around with the knocking i'll, I'll get up on you know a little thing knock 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 and have them come running over and i'll hide in a locker and you know, don't, don't get me started with the boxes when we get to the boxes. I love fooling around with the boxes. I'll just I'll just be in a box in absolutely plain sight. And just people come over and just, they, it's just funny to me. They'll come over and look at it and, you know, be all puzzled. Kind of like a cat. Like if you have like wrapping paper around a cat and the cat will just come and, you know, you know, sniff it and, you know, touch it. And then eventually he'll start jumping all over it. But, you know, he kind of has to work his way up to it. And we'll just, you know, I like just having the box in the middle of a hallway and you know that's that's just one of my little quirks of the metal gear solid that i've, I've enjoyed in this game I, th I thought you know the the enemy reactions are just priceless uh you know they, they actually do have a mind they do think they can see that the box is out of place but we'll, we'll get to the box stuff later i might try some of that stuff in later episodes here we have another awesome cinematic uh russians are coming in choppers are coming in i know you know they were all concerned that the marines were going to have guns but no one seems to notice the fact that there's you know, Soviet choppers running around everywhere you get, you know, every little thing in the Hudson River and all these armed militia people are completely taken over this boat. No one seems to, to notice that they were all worried about the publicity, but you know, that's, that's one of the things they're doing it. They're doing it well. They're doing it in the covert operation. So, but the mission ended, we've made it to the bridge. We were able to, you know, find out where this bridge is chosen or, uh, representative is about to come in on our little speaker and talk to us a little bit and we're going to go through so i'm going to go ahead and end the video here while we're talking about that and in the next episode uh which should air in a day or two uh we'll actually get to go and do our first boss battle we'll get to fight the pregnant young uh russian girl with the arm hair so we'll actually get to go and and fight her and you know and we'll see the cinematic her relationship to her father so we actually get to go and continue our, our mission do our first boss battle and go on from there we'll keep playing uh as always guys leave me comments let me know that you guys are enjoying this uh let me know that you guys want me to keep playing is there anything you want to see is there anything you want to do specifically if there's anything that i missed by all means please let me know let me know what you guys think and uh you know as always leave comments i try to respond to them as best i can so that's it for the metal gear solid episode 2 gameplay and that's it take care bye